Okay, my Algebra 1 students, I hope life is going good. It's already Thursday. Memorial Day is just two weeks away. Oh my goodness. It's downhill from now. Just stay with it. Now, we're not going to have any quizzes or tests this week. I thought I'd give you a little break, but I am doing a homework assignment that's due tonight by 8 o'clock. I'll put it on Schoology uh, by... Uh, uh, 7.30, pro I mean 8.30, probably before that. It'll go up pretty soon. Uh, and it should take you all of 10 minutes, unless you're doing it with your eyes closed. So just hang in there. It's all about scientific notation. Then tomorrow, we're going to review factoring because we're going to use it the rest of the year, except uh, I want to do sequences in a week or two. So we're getting down now. Oh my goodness. Not, count, not counting today. I think we only have 14 school days left. Oh, can you go outside in shorts and t-shirt and freeze because it's only 40 degrees out there? Oh, I love this global warming. I'm just joking. It's really hot in Arizona and California. But anyways, let's do this. Do these two right now and then I'll do them. Okay, so finding the first part should be easy. You just move it to get a number between 1 and 10. Then you put 10 to the how many times did we move it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have to multiply by 7 tens to get it back to normal. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7.6 times the original one is smaller, so we make it negative, so we're dividing by 10. And you moved it four times. So that's why a lot of people like scientific notation. Now this really goes well with logs, which we're not going to do this year. You do a little bit of it in uh, junior year. Now let's change this to regular notation. So we got three, six, seven. So you move it twice. So two of the nine are gone. You still got seven more. Holy jeez. So, dupe, 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 really big number. You're talking about outer space. You're talking about the government. Of course, I won't have to worry about it. Your generation have to worry about paying the debt back, but we don't care about that in my generation, paying debt. This one, oh, it's getting smaller, the original. It's negative, so... Uh, we need to move this over, uh, here, the decimal over here, or to move the three past the decimal. We'd still have five more. So one, two, three, four, five, three, five. Okay. Do these operations and then turn me back on, and I will do them. Okay, when you're adding or subtracting, you got to have the same power on your 10, or you can't do it. I tried to show you that yesterday. So this would be, what, 13 times 10 to the 4th. Got a problem. This number has to be between 1 and 10. So you move the decimal over 1 to make it 1.3. Then you got to add a 10. Now, to be honest, you don't really use scientific notation a lot to add. But here. 3 times 2 is 6. Whenever you multiply two things same base, you add the powers. 11 plus negative 3 would be 8. So it actually got smaller because it's a negative power. Oops, excuse me. This one. 5 times 5 is 25 times 10 to the... 11 plus 20. Wow, this got a lot bigger. 31 zeros. Holy jeez, that's a huge number. But wait a minute. This is be not between 1 and 10, so I got to make it between 1 and 10. But to balance it out, I got to add 1 here. Oh, 32 power. Holy moly. Then 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now, you always keep it on top for scientific notation. So 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 10. Whenever you divide two things, same base, you subtract. So it would be 10 to the 7th. 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 10 to the... Uh-oh. 
When you divide two things same base, you subtract 11 minus a negative 6 would be 11 plus 6, which is 17. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do here? Let's write this again. Sorry. 2 times 10 to the 17th. I got a little happy there. Don't look here. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, no. Don't look. Cover that up. So here's the problems. If you're having any trouble with scientific notation, just email me. I can make some more review videos for you. But it will be on Schoology in just a couple minutes. Uh, or it's probably already there because you're probably not watching this at 7.30 in the morning. Ha, ha, ha. Just tell yourself, life is good. Life is good. Hey, see ya.